everyone. I hope you're doing well today. Today I'm going to be showing you how I clean silicon wafers in piranha solution to prepare them for DNA nanofabrication and layer by layer deposition. I will be showing in this video each step I take for this process and showing it in extreme detail so you can understand what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So let's get started. So in order to make a piranha solution, the piranha solution consists of uh, 70 percent sulfuric acid, 30 percent hydrogen peroxide. And so in order for this to happen, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to turn up the heat to about 70. Next, I'm going to take my sulfuric acid and I'm going to pour it over the silicon wafers. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hydrogen peroxide and I'm going to cut, pour that in. Now I'm going to take my Teflon tweezers and I'm going to carefully just mix the mixture, the solution a little bit so I can get this thoroughly mixed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a cover and then we're going to cover it. Okay? And then we'll let that sit for about an hour. So an hour has passed and so now we're going to take our wafers out. So using the Teflon tweezers we're going to very carefully take them out and put them in this glass petri dish. So now that I have removed my wafers and now placed them in this glass petri dish, I'm going to take some deionized water and I'm just going to pretty much wash them off to get, the, that, to get some of the acid off. So now that I have um, put the, water, the wafers in the water, I'm now going to wash them. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking my Teflon tweezers very carefully going to grip the sides of the of the wafer careful not to touch anything now I'm going to take the water I'm going to very carefully wash the surface of the of the wafer next to get a better grip I'm going to take my metal tweezers very carefully going to touch just the corner of that wafer so I have a good grip. Now I'm just going to wash it. Now you should be using around at least 10 milliliters of water per wash and we're going to repeat this then five times. So now that I have washed my, my wafer once, I'm now going to dry it with nitrogen air. Okay, so now that we have our wafers done, um, I'm now going to deposit the DNA. Now it should be noted that originally I started out with three, but one during the washing process slipped and fell onto the ground, so that one's um, back in the piranha solution. So we're just going to work with these two for right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my DNA, and I'm going to put around 20 microliters of DNA onto the wafer. Do that for the other one. Perfect. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now incubate these and then let them um, stay like this for about 20 to 30 minutes. So now the DNA has been sitting on the wafer for about 30 minutes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully take it out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wafer very carefully. I'm going to put it 
in a solution of 90% ethanol, 10% water. So I'm just going to whirl it around. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to dry it with nitrogen air. I'm going to repeat this three times. So now that we have washed and dried our DNA wafer, we are now just going to place it into a tight sealed plastic container and now it is ready for atomic force microscopy inspection. Um, in the next video what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to continue this further by then placing ionic solutions onto the DNA's wafer layer by layer.